Gwen is the stalker. You need to stay away from her. All the evidence points to Gwen. Gwen is not the stalker. Bobby, I am really, really sorry about this. Said quiet or I'll shut you up. <sighs> we just need you to answer a question. I'm not gonna answer any questions until you tell me that Gwen is safe. She is safe, but you'll never see again of her. No! Let me out of here! Is Robbie back yet? I haven't seen him. Well, he's with Gwen, I think, and he's been gone a long time. Probably getting some lippers, if you know what I mean. Dad, Gwen's the stalker, remember? Oh, yeah. How long has he been gone? Six hours? That is a long time for a lunch date. I'll call Dave. I saw Robbie earlier on Find My Friends at the Rockwell Ice Cream. Hello, Dave? I think we have a situation. What is the nature of your relationship with Madeline? Madeline? Who, who's Madeline? Sorry, Gwen. Madeline's undercover name is Gwen. <laughs> undercover? What is she, a spy? Gwen's a spy named Madeline? She's a Russian? We ask the questions. What is the nature of your relationship with Gwen? I gave her my pin. What does that mean? Answer the question. I did. I asked her to be my girlfriend and I gave her my pin as a symbol of our commitment. I told you he was weird. Okay, treating a woman with the respect she deserves doesn't make me weird. Okay, maybe it does, but better weird than a barbarian. And... Uh, we're live. You put trackers on all of her shoes when you were here? It's my job to protect. Plus, I need an A on this assignment. It works even if their phones are turned off. How many pairs of shoes does Ari have? Guys, Robbie's dot is stationary. It looks like he's not too far from here. Maybe in those abandoned warehouses by the old mall? Should we call the police? I am the police. Future police. But don't you think we need like a SWAT team? I am in a SWAT class right now. And luckily for Robbie, I read ahead in my ebook. It's better if we go in with a small force so that when we try and negotiate with Gwen, she doesn't feel threatened. Well then let's go. Robbie's already been gone for several hours and I mean, I don't think Gwen will be violent, but she might be planning to take him across the border to Vegas. Let's gear up. You are here because of hard work, determination, and sacrifice. Class time's over. The books are on the shelves. This is real life. What you have must be earned and not given. But seeing that we're low on time, it's given. Let's go. How did you find out Gwen was lemon squeezy? I've already told you too much. Answer the questions. I'm not gonna answer any more questions until you tell me where Gwen is and why you've abducted me. We are asking the questions! I'm not gonna answer. So... You want to play? What is it? Hardball? Torture me if you must. I'm not gonna talk. We will give you time to contemplate your choices. A home? He's being held hostage in a home? I'm going in. Wait, Dad, shouldn't we scout out the area and check for traps and hidden doors and stuff? Roll for perception. What? Let's see, chapter three, entering an unknown location. It says carefully scout out the building looking for any possible entrances or places where danger may hide. Okay, I'll go check it out. I'll wrap around the other way, redirect any civilian casualties. Nope, just an old lady knitting. Dave, are you sure this is the right house? Affirmative. You must be in the basement. I saw faint light in one of the windows, and this place reeks of oppression. Right. Let's go take down that old granny and save Robbie.
What the heck? You're not Russians. Pumpkin spice go-go? 